What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every week, me and my little beautiful wife over here are giving you guys great tips, tricks, and information that will hopefully entice, excite, and enhance your relationship to a whole new, healthy, positive level, right? With love, affection, and all the great things that come along with it. So, if you're in a relationship, it's been a long relationship, you guys tune in. If it's a short-term relationship you just got into, tune in. If you guys aren't in a relationship, this will be seriously needed for your future relationship so it can be successful too as well. Yep. And we're going to cover three main core components that every healthy relationship absolutely needs for success. So let's cover these three topics. Mutual respect, mutual affection, and mutual trust. These three things are vital for a healthy relationship. These are the core of every healthy relationship. So let's get into them and start talking to them, Sharice. <laughs> Mutual respect. So yeah, talking to them, Sharice. So this one's a big one, right? Mutual respect um, is when two partners respect each other. They're not putting each other down in public, or in front of people, behind closed doors, whatever it may be. They respect the opinion of their partner. So when they're going to make a big life-changing decision about what their money is going to be, the house they're going to buy, what they're going to do in don't the future. Don't just run off and do it. They just don't want to. Don't off run do off it. and just do it. You know, <laughs> it's no, that's bad business. And just for the record, I would say 95% of the things that we talk about on this show, yep. we have been through ourselves, for sure. right? And yep. we've actually done it, right? So I, I, I definitely am one of the per people here. Mm -hmm. I have definitely, you know, disrespected my husband in public. And it wasn't a disrespect, like disrespect. It was more or less like maybe starting an argument, right? right? In front of people yep. because I didn't care at the time. We're just too young to really just put things together. You gotta remember we've been together 15 years. So yeah. I'm 21 years old. I was just hot, mean, mad. Woo. I didn't care. I didn't care who was around. I was just, I was popping off at anything I could. Yep. Bad to do that. Don't do that. Just don't do it. It's yep. not, it's not nice. Um, it doesn't look good for either one of you guys. No, it doesn't. It does. And then it also doesn't make your partner feel good. That's right. Especially if you are dating somebody such as like an alpha male, right? Those alpha males, they demand their respect. That's right. And I'm not saying that males in general just shouldn't get respect. And it doesn't matter who your partner is. <laughs> you could be a female. It could be another guy. I don't care who it is. But your significant other should gain that respect or have that respect from you mm -hmm. where you're not doing things like that because you don't realize that that is a form of disrespect. And I mean, we've been down that road. I think we, it probably took me solid. I'm not even going to lie, but like maybe like two or three years. Yeah. Probably around that time period, I guess. But I did it. Yeah. Finally. Took a lot of training guys. <laughs> <laughs> so respect is definitely a big thing. And there's different forms of disrespect that you can do. Right. So like it, just for example, you're talking to your girlfriends and you start throwing your partner underneath the bus mm. to, to strangers. Yeah, even. bad business. I've seen it. I've seen where people just start throwing their partner underneath the bus to somebody they just met like five minutes ago. Maybe because they were trying to vent, they were frustrated, whatever the case was, bad business. it doesn't make them look good and it makes their partner look really, really bad. You know, so and then you eventually go back to your partner, and then you look stupid. Yeah, and then, I mean that's what really you know, happens, guys. That's the truth. Yeah, you feel disrespected. Your partner maybe finds out, or he's there, and at that point, you know, he doesn't feel too good about what you said about him yeah. or her or whatever it may be. So, 
make sure you're putting that respect factor. And if there is a problem or issue, handle it directly with your partner. No other parties need to be involved right away, yeah. especially. Because if you do that, you're just gaining other people to start looking at your relationship underneath the microscope, microscopic the telescope basically and looking at every little thing that's going on and then you start going up against the grain and that's you don't right. even realize it because you have people that are chipping into your ear yep and yep. then the things that you might have just thought up on your own that would have maybe resolved the issue yep. now you have people chippering in that don't even have a relationship. That's the big one, okay. she hit it right in the nose. You don't even have a relationship. You have even no room to talk, you're yeah. just talking. And it's just bad advice. It's just like, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're taking advice from somebody that has no idea what they're talking about because they're not even in a healthy relationship. Right. They might've been divorced three times and they're telling you, ah, oh, I would do this. And you're listening to them like, it's gold. Like, oh man, these guys have done it all. It's not true. It, you know, even when we talk about rich people, right? And you have all these, uh, you know, these teachers and stuff and teaching people in, in schools how to be rich. But the teachers aren't rich themselves. They haven't even been down that path. Yeah, you got to talk to people that have been there yes. and that are currently actively yes. there. And at that point, you're not going to find too many people out there that are like that either. It's a, a real, you're a minority if you have a healthy relationship these days. Yeah. Uh, a, a, a core relationship that has not been tampered with at all, right? It, it's definitely something that you're not gonna be able to find. And if you do find it, listen to the people that have been in that successful relationship for 20, 25 years, 30 years, If right? you find it, fight for it too. Right. You know, like just cause you guys get into an argument, don't, don't go run off and be dumb about it. Yeah. That's just, that's not smart, yeah. right? So if you find somebody, just make sure that you, you hold on to them and then try to work it out. I feel like that just doesn't happen anymore. Yeah. Nobody tries to work it out because there's so many places to swipe and so many cool stories to look at and there's TikToks and all kinds of other things. Different options, DMs, people, you know, chirping in from, from wherever, right? And at that point, don't listen to them. The grass is not always greener on the other side of the fence. Mm -hmm. And that's a problem, a lot of people think that. So they're just like, oh, you know, I'll just do whatever and, and don't worry about it, I'll find somebody better. And that might not be the case, and then you're kicking yourself in the butt the rest of your life, mm -hmm. you know, because the one got away, right? Yeah. Uh, the next one, mutual trust. Trust is everything. So yeah. we were talking about trust here before. It's like almost like your know, relationship's almost like building a house to a certain degree, where trust is your foundation. Everything that's getting built on in your house is getting built on top of that foundation. And if it's a shaky foundation, or the foundation's off, the house, the house is not gonna settle correctly, yeah. it's gonna be all balanced, and things problems. aren't gonna be right. Yeah. Same thing with what your relationship will be. There will be cracks in your relationship if the trust is not there. Mm -hmm. Everything will be second-guessed all the time, and you'll have to try to earn that trust back. That's the only way. It's not something that <laughs> you can flip a switch on and off no. and say, yeah, I trust you now, Oh, you broke my trust. I'm turning it off. All right, don't worry. Now I'm okay. I'm turning it back on for you. No, it's like a tree. It is like a tree. It's a like tree. Groot. A it's tree. like Groot. Yeah, Remember, he, he like chopped himself off and then he had, it took forever. He went from a, a big Groot to a baby Groot. It and took then he's forever. Like a teenage Groot right now. It took forever, but it happened. Yeah. yeah right? It so, happens. you know, you have to be patient on the other end. Yeah. And then the other person, that, the, the party at fault, that's the person that needs to be, you know, open to hey, listen, the trust was broken. This, we're trying to amend that, and both parties have to work at this together. Well, the flip side of that is, is that your partner has done nothing, but you've got your trust broken in past relationships. Mm, that's and a tough people one. People can't get over that. That's a tough one for a lot of girls. And, I, I can and guys. Yeah, I don't mean, just say girls. Yeah. It's guys too. I mean, listen, it's working both ways out there. I guess. It's not just the guys are, guys are out are there cheating. being the player, player. Yeah. There you got girls yeah, out there cheating. looking for the Willy Wonka golden ticket, right? <laughs> And they're all out there They've doing got this, a hate right? Chocolate. You got OF. You've got all these different sites. Only fans. Oh. Sugardaddy.com. And, you know and listen, <laughs> on the guy side, they might be you know playing, playing too. So it is what it is. Yeah. But I'm telling you this much: you got to have that trust. And if you've had your trust broken in prior relationships, this is something you need to communicate forward to your partner and let them know. Hey, listen. This did happen in the past. And it, it, it's not like you physically got hurt, like a physical scar, oh, no. but you could be emotionally scarred in yeah. some way, shapes, and forms. And at this point, if it was really bad and you got lied to, abused, whatever it is, obviously this is not gonna go away. You have this in the back of your mind, but you have to put it in there that, listen, this is not that person yeah, either. Yeah, it's a brand new person. And if you start seeing the red brand flags of that old person in that person, then maybe that's 
decide to say, hey, listen, this might not be the person for me. Yeah. You know, so you have to realize that up front and not fall into those old things that you fell into before. Well, a lot of people, they, they they see a certain, like they like a certain type of person. Right. But that same certain type of person is the same person that's going to put you possibly in the same scenario yep. that you were in before. Yep, yep. So if that didn't work out for you, maybe, you know, the, the guy with the tattoos at the bar with the beers the or whatever, bad whatever it is. And he's got chains in his pockets and, you know, some, <laughs> some Timberlands on. I don't know. Whatever kind of guy it yeah, is. Give me a right? chain wallet. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is, just, you know, it wasn't working, right? So maybe you should switch it up. Yeah. That's yeah. all. It definitely is. I mean, you know, at that point, you know, that's that's what you got to do. You got to make sure you're evolving too as well and not stay in the same place. Because if you go in this, the exact same place with the exact same mindset, the exact same thing's going to happen with that type of person. Then get so, the hamster wheel. So change things up. I'm going you, you never know. You might find somebody that you know, is totally polar opposites of what you are. And you guys attract like that too, as well. It happens all the time, mm -hmm. right? And if you're looking for certain qualities, look for certain different people that might meet those qualities and see those qualities. Mm -hmm. Sometimes friendship might be first, right? And then you work your way into a relationship. I mean, you never know, right? These different things happen all the time. Relationships don't just happen all of a sudden sometimes, you know, it might take one or two times to meet each other. Me and Sharice, didn't hit it off the first time we met. Yeah. There wasn't no flames or flickering or anything like that. So, <laughs> <laughs> so this happens afterwards. But there was flames like three, it was like three or four times after we met. Yeah. It was like the one that was just, it was the night. Yeah. It was really weird. That's how it goes. So That's weird. How it goes. Flame yeah. on. Yeah. He was like walking in the club <laughs> looking all cute. And I'm like, oh my goodness. I'm like, this is the, this is the John guy that I've been talking to. Right. I'm like, okay. That's right. Let's, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> Which leads us into our third and final core element to healthy relationships. It's mutual affection. This is both of you guys mutually showing affection to each other, whether it's a hug, a kiss, you guys holding hands, love notes, whatever that is, right? Emotional and physical affection. Mm -hmm. This is giving compliments to your partner too as well. I love you. You look really pretty in your outfit today. Thank you, Sharice. And all these different things out there, you know, showing affection is key. Where, you know, as relationships start, sometimes there's more affection given on one side than the other. Or as they go on, that power has switched to the other partner possibly. Mm -hmm. And one partner's just, you know, showing the affection. It can't be like it's that. It's got to be a 50-50 split. It's got to be. It's yeah. got to be reciprocated. It's got to be a 50-50 split. You guys got to both show the affection in both of these ways. And it could be the like weirdest work. things, guys. You guys don't realize it's the smallest things. Like, you know, I told you guys in previous episodes, which you should watch, but I told you guys in previous episodes, you know, I usually don't leave the house without giving John a kiss or at some point giving John a kiss. I think I might have not given you a kiss today now I'm thinking about it. But anyways, a long story short. I'll take one right now. Wait, no, we do threes. Okay, so anyway, that's our thing, right? It's so weird and we're so crazy. But anyways, it's important to show affection, right? You know, it's, whether it's, you know, uh, it could be in the kitchen, they walk by and let's just say that's your version of showing affection, you know, maybe you grab their butt, okay? Or maybe, you, you know, whatever it might be, that's affection. Or let's say you guys are in bed and a lot of couples that have been together for a long, long time, they do eventually, for some very strange reason, end up like facing the other side. It, it happens a lot. Like you start with the, it, it, this is like, it's a fact. You start with like the cuddle like this, and then you start with the cuddle like this, and then all of a sudden you guys are cuddling this way, not really cuddling because you're just, that's the side you want to sleep on, right? Yeah, it but comfortable. It's not like, you know, but take a second while you're in bed, you guys watch Netflix, whatever it might be, and just maybe come closer and just, you know, maybe hug them like that. Like that's all it takes. And that way your significant other, whether it's female, male, whatever, it doesn't matter who you are, you can still do this type of stuff. They'll feel good about it. Like, oh my God, they still love me. Yeah. So that's it. It's really easy. Three core elements to help you have a healthy, long lasting, successful relationship. Mutual respect, mutual trust, and mutual affection. It's not that hard. I think it's pretty easy. Just apply these three things. And I promise you guys, your relationship will go on to a healthier, long lasting level. And hopefully you guys will have more passion than ever. So that's this week's Cupid's Corner. We appreciate you guys tuning in every week, 11 a.m. on ABC. If you DVR it, that's awesome too. If you can't do that, 
you can't watch it live you can't dvr it check us out on youtube just go over there and type in tight medical center and you guys will get to see this cupid's corner all the rest of cupid's corner and our other great content for tight medical center and if you need some help in the bedroom spice some things up or you want to help you know that look for your partner too as well I we can help you out call or text tight medical center at 727-389-3220 we appreciate you guys i'm john i'm sharice and we'll see you next week for another cupid's corner see you then